Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. On today's video, we're planning on making a, I guess, a fun type video. We don't really have to work on a golf cart any. We're going to do a range test. So, a lot of people have been asking for a range test on the lithium battery with the AC conversion kit. I'm going to go over everything. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching the Fentertainment channel, I want to welcome you. This is a 2014 Club Car President golf cart. I have a Navitas AC uh, conversion on this golf cart. Links in the description below where you can save the most money and buy it. Cheaper than you can buy it, just buy it anywhere else. Also, this golf cart has a Husky lithium battery in it. I'll, again, I'll place links in the description below where you can save money on yours as well. Uh, it's got a six inch all sports lift kit on the golf cart. It's got 23 inch tall tires. However, the tires are actually 24 and a half inches tall. Another thing we have is the EDT speedometer on the golf cart here. See there, we did this right here on another video. I have videos of everything that we've installed on this golf cart just about. So on the EDT speedometer, we went ahead and set the distance traveled back to zero so we can get a range test for you guys today. We're gonna do that. Also on the Navita setup, since you can go max wide open or you can go slow, Everyone knows if you turn it to max wide open, your distance is going to decrease. If you turn it all the way down, your distance is going to increase. So what we're going to do is turn everything to the recommended settings on the Navitas uh, OTF controller. And the, o the recommended settings is all the black lines on the speed, the region, and the acceleration. With that being said, guys, I'm going to be filming with this right here camera. This is a Canon G7X Mark II. We're also going to be filming with this right here GoPro. This is a GoPro uh, 360 Max. Uh, it's a 360 camera. We're not going to be shooting a 360 today. However, there's pretty cool videos with this right here. But with that being said, guys, let's get into it and... Uh, I don't know exactly how far it's gonna go. I don't know how many miles it's gonna go. I don't know anything. I'm shooting this right here off the hip. I usually do these videos at the end of the videos so I can show you before and afters. But anyways, I can't wait to get started and see how far we're gonna go and see is some's gonna be on road, some's gonna be off road. Some's going to be, probably you might see the same spot in my town once or twice because we're gonna have, might have to ride a couple of times you know in some areas to get you know a max distance now i do have my uh, trailer hooked up to my truck in case we do run out of battery i'm gonna have my wife come pick us up somewhere i just want to do a range test it feels good it's beautiful today it's like low 70s here in south carolina loving the weather beautiful weather so with that being said let's jump into the video and get started away from the house right now and we're gonna hit a trail that's gonna save us about uh, six miles to another neighborhood and we're just gonna go through the woods kind of a back way and since the battery's fully charged we might as well do this now so
now we got about 4.8 miles almost five miles we're on main street in town and we're gonna cruise main street and cruise around the middle part of the town as well see we've traveled eight and a half miles so far we're resting around 52 and a half volts um, it says the motor is 110 degrees Fahrenheit it's giving me as a warning there uh, anyways that being said we're gonna keep going We're in 10.6 miles. The voltage still says high. Uh, when you jump on it, it's getting out around 52 volts, 51 volts like that. We're in a place called Lions Beach. Uh, if you're local, then you're very familiar with this, but this right here is, uh, is the lake out here. Uh, this used to be a place that was, um, I think it was like a campground at one time. It used to be access to the lake here. Uh, people used to swim here. Um, all that's pretty much been closed down now for a while, but, and beautiful place out there. We're gonna see if we can keep riding and see if we can get a little bit closer towards the lake or maybe go into Pineopolis next. We'll see where we can go to. and uh, just put it back up there. But we've gone about 14.3 miles so far and uh, still we're sitting at 52 and a half volts. So let's keep going.
we got about 18 miles in. We're approaching Somerset. If you're local to town, you know. If you're not local to town, if you're a member of or you employed with Santee Cooper, this is like a uh, recreation point that you can come and camp and go to the lake and all that. It's real, it's real beautiful back there. Um, but unfortunately, we can't get in there, so we're going to have to turn around. Right, we've done 23 and a half miles golf cart still on showing around 52.2 volts island i think the gopro is still on it is we're going to take it down and see what kind of uh, battery life we have on it and uh just check it so that's why i'm right here so on the gopro we're at 27 percent not sure of how much longer this is going to last. It says we have three hours, 59 minutes of recording left, but the battery is on 27%. Again, we've been 23 and a half miles. Let's put it back on and start going. We'll check it back in a little bit. We might have to get a different camera out. With 27 uh, miles so far, um, we're about to get back on Main Street here and uh, start riding back. Might hit the other side of town now.
right guys so we're at 29.9 miles about to hit 30 miles you can see we got 52.4 volts when we're sitting still and when we're going it, it drops down to about 50 49.8 volts but we are man 30 miles right now on this battery so we're gonna keep it going not sure if the gopro is still going or not and uh hopefully we can uh see exactly how far we can go there we go we got 30 miles so far on this charge and um it goes to high voltage there because region kicks in and is charging the battery pack back up so um there we go let's keep going <laughs> All right, we're not far yet. Um, we do have a red light. I think it's due to temperature. I'm gonna I'm keep going, guys. Um, this AC kit, I was told to put those temperatures in there. Uh, with that being said, um, I don't think it's right still, but I'm gonna push it, and I'm gonna push it to the max. Uh, we're at 30 miles so far, 30 and, 30 and a half miles. Uh, we stopped in this Burger King parking lot. I got to uh, just take a quick break real quick. Uh, guys, this is completely dead. Not sure when it went dead, but um, I'm going to put this up. We have another camera. With that being said, we're still at 30.6 miles, and we stopped to take a little break. seven miles we've stopped we're getting back on the bypass here trying to wait for traffic to uh you know lighten up pretty much like this truck here we're gonna just send it Street from Chick fil A. We're at 36.8 uh, miles so far, about to be 37 miles on this one battery pack. Good. Yeah, not bad. So far.
This is the perfect Chick-fil-A sandwich. Extra pickles, American cheese. Get some of that. All right, we're done eating. Let's get back on the road. screen here we hit 40 miles 40.1 miles so far we're going to continue to go here the gopro's dead we're using the canon g7x uh, mark ii Right, guys we're sitting at 44 and a half volts um 41.6 miles 
we did everything with the Navita settings in the recommended settings so we was able to accomplish 41.6 miles 27 miles per hour average and the golf cart is uh, it's pretty much dead so now I got to call the wife to come pick me up <laughs>